myself. I'm feeling myself. Like I got my outfit on. I'm doing this thing. Oh my gosh. Okay, day one of culinary school. Check. Last day of Secret Guide to Fabulous. Check. Wine. Check. Thank God. It is midnight and I got up at six this morning. So I have fake energy in my eyes, <laughs> to be perfectly honest with you. I started out my day with a trip to the gym because working in a kitchen is really, really strenuous on your body and you've gotta be fit. So I ran 30 minutes and my new running thing is I just use the computer that's on the treadmill. Yes, I go to a fancy gym that has a computer on the treadmill. And I just put a bunch of Britney videos on. So I ran until the Britney videos ran out and I was a sweaty mess. And I felt so much better. And then I got ready. I was so panicked that I was gonna forget something. I had chef's codes, I had um, all the little tools and all the things in the book and things that I got ahead of time. And then I had to pack all the stuff for the last day of Secret Guide to Fabulous. So I had, you know, makeup and shoes and belts and things. And I had like carrying these two bags on the subway. I have this picture I'm gonna pop in right now. This is Matt taking a picture of me going to my first day of school. He was so kind to walk the boys and walk me to the subway. So hopped on the subway and got to check out what it's like to be a commuter. That's why I need this sip of wine. That was fun. It actually wasn't as crowded as I've heard it can be. And here's me right outside of school, just sort of about to walk in. All right, I'm on my way in. Wish me luck. And trust me, they literally get the ball rolling from the beginning. I walked in the door, my whole outfit, my little hat, my little coat, everything. And I forgot my name tag, so I had to walk back downstairs and get that. We unpacked our knife kit, which was really fun. It was kind of like Christmas time. And uh, I've heard that a lot of people actually cut themselves undoing their knives, so I was very careful. I did not cut myself. I'm so knocking on wood right now, major. Once we got everything unpacked, it was like we hit the ground running. We have vegetables, we're peeling, we're chopping, we're cutting, we're making little perfect squares, we're peeling the tiniest onions you've ever seen in your life. It was so incredibly fast. I absolutely loved it, but I had to keep taking breaths. I actually forgot my little water cup that they gave me and I realized why they put it in the kit because you need it. I was drinking out of those little triangle cups and I literally needed like gallons of water because it's hot in there. They've got these huge stoves and ovens and just things going on and you're just sort of like overwhelmed. <sighs> I have to take a deep breath to even talk about it. But it was so incredible because the school is like at such a high level that just the intensity is just incredible. Like I'm really, really attracted to that. It scares me, but I'm attracted to it at the same time. After I record this video, I still have to read and I need to cut a carrot and a turnip tomorrow morning. That's what I'm gonna wake up to. So anyway, cutting was really fascinating because I learned that the reason, there's a million reasons why you cut well, but one of the reasons that was a big aha moment for me was when you cut things properly, specifically like an onion that has a lot of uh, moisture to it, a lot of water in it, a lot of flavor, um, if you just chop it all messy, you are leaving all of this juice because you've been pressing it out because you don't have a good technique on the board versus it being inside of your stock, your soup, your dish, whatever you're making. So that was a huge aha moment. I had never realized that and I think that's absolutely brilliant and I will take that with me forever. So now I'm sharing that with you. So see, there's a reason to watch my little culinary school vlog. When we were doing um, one of the techniques, we were actually like sauteing onions, um, pearl onions, and we had to turn on like the big, like massive commercial burner. I was really excited about that. And I turned it on, and all those flames just sort of like pop up. And it's just sort of this like masculine, like big, huge flame, strong, like iron workhorse. And you're like, wow, like I'm like working with this. Like I'm gonna become one with this thing. And I had this moment where I was just like, I got it, I got it. Like I'm feeling myself, I'm feeling myself. Like I got my outfit on, I'm doing this thing. And I was rolling the onions around and it was really fun. Like 
got a little flame on the side. Like, it was really, really exciting. It's just like you see on TV when you see, like, a chef in a kitchen cooking. They're just, like, rocking things around and making it look all sexy. Because it kind of is. Um, it just was really incredible. I mean, the first day was so intense, and I hear that it only gets more intense. I'm just, like, taking a deep breath. I'm going to go running tomorrow. I'm going to have to meditate because... I need to remain calm and just accept all of the information and go through it with just joy and focus. So that is my goal. I had to literally rush out. No, true story. I have to show you this. I am on the corner holding these books. I'm making sure you can see. Holding all of these books, right? Holding all these books. My two bags, my garment bag, of all this stuff. And I'm like calling a car you're know, like hey i'm over here i'm over here all these books gorgeous books by the way so literally going from chef school in my hat with my clogs on yes i'm wearing clogs get into it um to full-on hair and makeup fabulous tv and then back to chef school tomorrow and i've got people like fussing with my outfit and lit rolling me and fixing everything and monitors and cameras. And someone's like powdering me if I have like a little shine and they're fixing the hair and like everything is just, it has to be just so. And it was just this whole crazy thing. And we basically wrapped up at around 11 o'clock and I hopped in the car. <laughs> like, it's been crazy day. What a crazy day. Start culinary school, finish a show, Wow. And I'm so glad that I got to share it with all of you because I'm very, very blessed to be able to do this and to be able to have this life that is so varied and so crazy and so just sort of all over the place. It's what I always wanted, to be honest. If every day is the same, I will absolutely go batshit crazy. So that won't work. So basically, I guess the wine will get me through it, the running and the meditation. But on that note, I am going to open my book and study my French culinary terminology after I edit this video and attempt to get some sleep. I could not sleep last night. I was panic stricken, even though I've been training myself to get up at six in the morning every day for weeks. I still was panicked. So hopefully I'll get a good night's sleep tonight and I will be filming my next video tomorrow. I'm really, really excited to share with you what happens then because tomorrow will be totally different than today was. Let me know what you think in the comments section. If you're liking my vlog series, please make sure and share it with a friend, two or three or 30. We want more subscribers, more eyeballs, more love. I really appreciate it. Until tomorrow, I'll talk to you later. Bye.